The last tech rooms you can unlock are by purchasing them using engram points. The engram points that can be unlocked on what map, the level and their cost are on the screen right now. You'll also notice that to get the Genesis 2 tech rooms, you need to be a higher level than the default being 105. Now the easiest way to do this is by defeating the following bosses on the screen right now on Alpha difficulty, that being the Overseer on the island, Rockwell on Aberration, Corrupted Mask Control on Gen 1, and finally, Rockwell Prime on Gen 2. If you do that, your player will not be stuck at 105, rather their player cap will be increased, allowing them to reach level 165. Now, if you want to obtain every single tech gram in the game, legitimately, you need to own all the paid DLCs. Once you have all the DLCs, start your journey on the island, and then by defeating the Broodmother, Methopithecus, and Dragon on Alpha difficulty, you will be able to unlock 85% of the tech rams in the game, as well as the special S plus tech rams shown on the screen right now, which can only be unlocked on the island. Going onwards, you would then travel to Ragnarok, and by defeating the bosses there on Alpha, will guarantee you the tech light, shield, and sword. Moving on to Ab, then defeating Rockwell on Alpha will grant you the tech rock trick saddle, railgun, and sleeping pod, and then onto Extinction, which at this time you should have enough engram points to purchase the tech rams on the screen right now. When you get to Genesis Part 1, simply defeat Moto and Corrupted Master Control for their special tech rams and also obtain the tech jumping pad. And then to finish your journey, head to Genesis Part 2 where you'll defeat Rockwell to get the Exomech and then you'll purchase the remaining tech rams. In saying this, you will have to transfer your character to other maps in order to get these other tech rams. So in order to do this, you will need to find these following terminals on the screen right now, that being the Obelisk, Supply Drop, City Terminal, or the Mission Terminals. And then once you've found that, you can go ahead and transfer. If you're on a server, all you simply want to do is open up one of these obelisks, go to then travel to another server, and then from there you simply need to wait till your server appears. Click that, and then go join with new survivor. Then it's going to go ahead and load up, transfer into the new server, and then simply go ahead and respawn with your survivor, and you are good. If you're on single player, the process is slightly different, so instead of transfer, you would just do upload as I've done there, then you go back to the main menu, and when you're here, go to the server you don't have a save on, so rag for my example. Once that's done, go ahead and launch single player. And then it will take you to this screen here, as you can see right now. Go ahead and download that survivor that you just got, and then spawn in, and then bada bing, bada boom, you now have your survivor from the single player island world onto the Ragnarok world. So go ahead and start getting those tech rooms. And lastly, in the description, you'll find a link to the wiki which will give you tips and tricks on how to defeat the bosses, so your life will just be a little bit easier when trying to get those tech rooms. With that said, thank you for watching. I hope the video helped you understand what tech rams you get from what boss and the best way to go about collecting every single one. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.